I'm going to start by showing you the navigation pattern first before walking you through step by step how to achieve this navigation path. So this is a simple landing page or overview, however you want to call it. And when I select a region, I'm going to go ahead and select Oceania. Basically what I like would be for this value to pass through to this next button, which will take me to my detail dashboard. So I want this value to pass through. So happy, it's all on Oceania. And now I'm going to select North Asia, just checking all the values. And when I click on my back button, take me back to landing page, I would expect North Asia to also be the filter. Sorry, to be the value um, for the landing page when I go back. And by the way, I'll also be showing you how I managed to get um, to get everything on the one tab. I'm going to start by building an icon that will take me to my detail page. So I'll start by creating a fake dimension. Um, next button. And I'm going to place that onto the shape shelf before assigning an icon. Okay, so I'll just let's move this, drag it into the worksheet. And format it nicely. Get rid of all the ugly borders. Oops. Okay, and I might also add a tool tip to give it a description. Take me to detail page. Just make it bold. I'm not going to be fussed about the aesthetics because it's really just a navigation path that I'm more worried about. Um, to I'll call it to overview. Okay, so that's step one completed. Number two is I need to make sure the region filter is talking to this worksheet, i.e., the next button. As I'm relying on this to tell my detail dashboard which region to display when I open it. So I'm going to first check that this filter is applying to every worksheet that I need it to apply to. Okay, the fact that it's on all using this data source and to overview page, which is this next button is included. So I'm happy about that. So let's leave landing page for now and address the detail workbook. Here is my other package workbook, and you'll see that I've built very, the four very generic views with two filters that are interlinked. And I've also added a back button that will allow me to go back to the landing page. And this time I still want, I still want to pass the last selected region value back to the landing dashboard just to prevent myself from having to reapply filters every time. Let's go ahead and publish this before adding a URL link from the landing page. I'll just make sure my region is selected on all. I'm going to publish to the partner demo site in Tableau Online. I'll just, just so I don't override, I'll just call it copy.
Okay, so once that's published, I am going to use this link. Copy this link and then add a URL action to link the two workbooks. Okay, and I'm going to test the link. So I've deliberately, I've deliberately done this wrong, and just to show you why. Oops, let's edit that. I want to do it on select. So now let me try. Let me try and see if Central Asia passes through to the DHL dashboard. No. Okay, and that is rightly so. Let's try a possible fix. Could it be that we need to specify the value in the URL link itself? So if I go and edit my URL action, I'm surprised, I'm surprised there was no there was no question mark and then colon sign. Um, so I'm going to add region equals. So I'm not going to specify any static values because I want the region to be dynamic. And you'll see here that there is a there's a warning sign missing fields on multiple worksheets. So let's test out this link and again I'm expecting it to be wrong because of that warning sign. Okay and again you'll see that the value has not passed through. I'm back on my landing page. So the reason you got that warning message was because the actual worksheet itself, um, so in the actual worksheet itself, the URL action wasn't recognizing region as a level of detail, even though you've got a region on filter. So what I'm going to do is to spoon feed it to the point where it doesn't have any excuse but to recognize that dimension. And I'll do that via a calculated field. I'm going to go if min region equals max region, then min region. So the mins and max is the purely there for aggregating dimensions. Else, nothing, a blank. So what this equation is saying is when I select so whichever, for whichever region I select, then display region. But when it's on all, when the filter selection is all, then give me blank, so give me everything. And now I'm going to drop the calculator field onto detail. And then tweak the, OR, the URL. So now I'm going to be replacing region with URL filter copy and make sure I've only got the, um, the source worksheet, the, i.e. the icon selected and not anything else. Because okay, if you select anything else, then you're going to get that error message again. I'm going to do exactly the same for the detail dashboard. So in fact, I've already done that. I've dropped the same equation. Okay. Now I've just got to fix the URL action before I publish this, before linking it to my landing page. So 
I only want my back button to, to be selected. And I'm going to replace region with my newly created calculated field. Okay. Okay. And then publish to online. Thank you. 